Hi, our chapter this week is about engines, in particular heat engines or internal combustion engines. How do we get work out of something using heat? Okay, uh, and it actually touches on a lot of different uh, principles. We're going to talk about isothermal expansions and contractions and adiabatic ones, and we're going to talk about the ideal gas law. So the idea is if we take a gas or something, a cold liquid, how do we get work out of it? Okay. Um, and it's going to even tell us about the fact, we're actually going to be confronted with the fact that thermodynamics says that we can't just take all the heat out of something, that that would violate thermodynamics because we have to leave a world that is, has more disorder in it than order. Okay, so we'll, we'll talk about that, but we're going to see a really good demo here which illustrates that when we want to get heat out of something and make an engine operate on the gas through a number of different things and return the gas back with the same pressure and temperature, the work we get out of it must also be accompanied by exhausting some heat out at a different temperature. So we're going to uh, show you this uh, great demo. It's called Hero's Engine. It consists of just a plastic bottle but this plastic bottle, uh, we've taken a nail and punctured the bottle all around it at, with a certain direction here. So that what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it up with liquid nitrogen, very, very cold nitrogen, that's liquid rather than gas. We're gonna take that cold liquid and we're gonna plunge it into a much hotter liquid. This is room temperature water, much hotter than the frozen liquid nitrogen here. Uh, when we do that, we're gonna actually cause the liquid nitrogen to become gaseous. It will leak out of the bottle, and in leaking out of the bottle, it will cause the bottle to spin. And essentially, we're taking the heat from the room temperature liquid and turning into, it into kinetic energy of the rotation of this bottle. So we're taking the heat in room temperature water and making this thing spin around, getting kinetic energy out of it. And that, in, in essence, is what an engine does. It takes heat from something, like in a steam locomotive, it takes that heat from the steam and turns the wheels of the locomotive, or in your internal combustion engine in your car, that spark plug fires, um, fires explodes some, a mixture of oxygen and gasoline, turns the piston in your car and causes the wheels to move. Okay. So an engine basically just takes heat from something, turns it into kinetic energy, usable work. All right, so uh, Maria, unfortunately, we didn't, they didn't leave me a funnel, so I'm gonna very carefully pour this liquid nitrogen into the bottle without touching it. <laughs> Let's see how much we got in there. Some of it's just going to make the, the bottle itself cold right now. about one third full, that would be enough. Okay, so, and I'm gonna actually put my, put my gloves on eventually for this once I screw the lid on here. So the bottle, you see it's pretty cold. Um, I'm gonna screw the lid on here. Now when I screw the lid on, our nut here uh, allows the bottle to rotate freely, okay? So let me put my safety gear on and get rid of that one. So as you can see, the, just the humidity from the air, uh, just the water and the humidity from the air is condensing and, and turning into ice right on the outside of my bottle there. It's so cold. So when I plunge this in, the heat is going to be exchanged between the room temperature water, which is much, much hotter than the liquid nitrogen here and much hotter than my bottle now. It's going to cause that liquid nitrogen to turn into gas. Gas has a much higher pressure, and so it's going to want to force that gas out of the holes in the bottle. It's going to cause the bottle to spin. So essentially, we're harnessing the heat from room temperature water and turning it into kinetic energy. Ready? All right, look closely. Three. Two, one.
pretty effective engine. <laughs> now, of course, if you're thinking about energetically, someone had to create the liquid nitrogen to take the heat out of the, of the nitrogen in order to liquefy and get it in cold in the first place. But we basically just use this as a way of converting the heat in our room temperature water into kinetic energy. Shall we do it again? When I'm doing this for the class, everybody 